Shout out the bro, shout out the broski, salute to all my real ones, it's your boy Armin with Real Talk, back with another video, hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day, man, and we gonna get into some boxing news, man, and uh, I'm seeing a whole lot of channels already talking about it, I feel like I'm a little bit late to the party, bro, but let's get this video started, we're gonna talk about Shakur Stevenson and uh, my guy Devin Haney, as we all know, <clears throat> Devin Haney held, held all the belts. You know, now he moved up to 140. Held all the belts at 135 and um, offered Shakur a, a, a fight, you know, to collect all those titles. If he, you know, if he won the fight, offered him 25% to take the fight. Shakur said that was a low blow. Me personally, in my opinion, I feel like he should have taken the fight. It would have raised his stock if he got the job done because I feel like Devin Haney and Shakur... Honestly, it's a 50-50 fight, bro. A lot of people hate on Devin Haney, bro, but, you know, I feel like Devin Haney's a talented fighter, man, and I'm not going to just go ahead and say, you know, Shakur's going to just go in there and whoop his ass. Now, could Shakur win the fight? Definitely. Another talented fighter. I just feel like um, <clears throat> Haney has fought the better better opposition, honestly, in my opinion. Um, Recently, bro, they had this little, you know, their little... uh back and forth on twitter bro honestly uh over here talking about um each other's moms and each other's dads bro which is corny as hell you know calling each other's mom a, a b word and, and and you know i'm really not with that bro i don't c condone myself like that bro i really don't uh if i even if i have a personal problem with someone i keep uh keep moms dads and children out of it bro that's just me um you know if i have a problem with you i have a problem with you what's this man's mother or father have anything to do with it you know going with their back and forth talking talking about each other's moms and dads and, and whatnot and i think it was devin haney he said you know for for uh 25 percent i'll bet you that 25 percent that i'll whoop your ass in a street fight somewhere on the streets and uh shakur stevenson leaked a, a, a video of of Devin Haney's father saying certain things I really don't even want to get into. I feel like it was corny as hell for even leaking that video, bro. I feel like it was corny. I feel like this whole thing is kind of already getting corny, bro. Um, and this is the, no no disrespect to Shakur or Devin Haney. I mean, my opinion, Shakur, you should have never even released that video, G. You should have kept that, kept that, uh, you know, with you. And that dude that recorded it, bro, like, you know, that's some, co you know, some police work right there, bro. I, I don't, I don't rock with that kind of weird shit, bro. That's some weirdo stuff to me, recording, uh, privately recording another man having a conversation, bro. You know, the, you know, the, <laughs> it's just not what, it's just not what I do, bro. It's just not what I do. Leave that to the cops, bro. And, and, and you know, God forbid, you know, if someone has issues with the feds or whatever, but pri privately, um, Recording another man um, having a conversation is corny. Uh, whether you told them to record it or not, bro, you know, the, that's a whole nother, you know, that's not even really relevant. I, I mean, you should have honestly, in my opinion, G, you should have never released it. You should have never released it. That was corny as hell. And uh, Devin Haney uh, betting 25% uh, for a street fight is also corny. You guys are over here, um, you know, De Devin Haney's made some millions. I'm pretty sure Shakur probably touched a million or two uh, by now, you know, uh, with, with all the fights that, that, that he's had. You, you guys um, fight in the ring, fight in the ring, bro, and, and um, make a couple million dollars each, bro. Fight in the ring, bro. You guys are talking about betting 25%, fighting on the streets, and I'm kind of getting tired of the uh, back and forth with uh, Shakur and, and Haney with all due respect, bro. I, th I think both of you guys are very uh talented fighters bro and you know go ahead and make this shit work out bro if he don't if he don't want the 25 percent, bro i don't know man Sh tell him tell him how about 30 for example bro i mean i honestly wouldn't go higher than 30 to 35 honestly me because you know i feel like shakur he is very talented but he really hasn't fought any big name uh big name boxers bro and you know, if he goes in there and beats Devin Haney, that would raise his stock big time, bro. But, you know, just this whole thing to me is corny. It, 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 it's whack, bro. Talking about each other's par parents and calling, you know, somebody's mom a B-word, bro. You know, to me, to me, that's just, that's just no good business, bro. Like, you know, you don't leave, you know, our mothers are precious, bro. They gave birth to us, fed us, 
changed our diapers, all that shit, bro. Raised us. You know, I just don't go around talking about people's mothers, bro, and their fathers, you know, if I have a problem with someone. And for the dude that recorded the, the video, bro, you should probably, you know, um, fill out an application, join the academy, bro. Start from there, see how far you could go, you know, if you're, you know, you do a pretty good job at secretly recording people. And, um, and you know, as for Shakur G, that wasn't a good look, bro. I don't think you should have uh, released that video, bro. But that's just, that's just my opinion. What I honestly want to see as a boxing supporter, a boxing fan, I think you guys both are talented fighters, bro. I think Shakur's mad talented, and I think Devin Haney's mad talented, bro. You guys both make some millions of dollars, bro. Get in there and fight each other in the boxing ring, bro, before talking about meeting each other and fighting on the streets for free, and I mean betting some money on it or whatever. It's just corny, bro. Just leave leave, leave each other's moms and dads out of it, bro, and in my opinion, uh, private conversations should be left private, bro. Uh, I don't think anybody should secretly be recording conversations or and leaking it when you're having a private conversation with another man. But it's just my opinion, bro. Um, it's just my opinion. I think the whole thing is just is just getting out of control and out of hand, bro. And it's getting to a point where it's not really even trash talking to each other. If you understand, like, trash talking to each other is cool, bro. But, you know, involving moms and dads in it and uh, secretly recorded videos is just corny, bro. Get in there, fight each other, bro. And I'm rooting for both of you to make... I, I love when people make money, bro. I'm rooting for both of you to make millions of dollars, bro. Get in there. Get this shit done. Both of you are boxers. It's your job. You know, you guys pay, get paid good money to do it. You know, get in there and make some millions. Take care of your families, bro. Give a better life and future uh, for your children, bro. And that's my thoughts and my opinions on this whole situation, man. I feel like it's kind of getting out of hand and it's getting a little bit corny, man. It's your boy Armin with Real Talk. I hope you guys all stay blessed out there. Strive for greatness. Those of, our that are go those of us that are going through hard times, just keep going, man, because hard times don't last forever, bro. Blessings to everybody. Until the next video, we out of here.